Harry's wife, future ban. According to Jacob Paul in The Express, and as always, I leave it up to you to determine the veracity of the material, there is the suggestion that Harry and Harry's wife may be banned from future events if not on best behaviour at the coronation. A royal insider warned that the Sussexes could be banned from all future royal occasions if they even put a toe out of line at the coronation, should they decide to attend the event in a few months' time. The Sussexes have been told to be on their best behaviour at King Charles III's coronation, if they decide to accept their invitation, an insider has warned. Prince Harry and Harry's wife are yet to confirm whether they will attend the historic ceremony in Westminster Abbey on May the 6th. If they jet over for the event, they have been warned not to step out of line as the couple is already on thin ice. Speaking to that bastion of journalistic excellence, Heat magazine, a royal insider warned, If they put even a toe out of line, they'll be banned from future royal occasions. The insider alleged that there are only so many olive branches Charles can offer, alleging the same royals are even baffled that the pair were invited to celebrate the occasion in the first place. It comes after the Sussexes' major fallout with the royal family following a series of bombshell allegations the couple revealed publicly in TV interviews, a shit flick series, and Prince Harry's tell-all memoir, Wow. But the royal source said the couple has sparked more stress and negativity amid the build-up to Charles' special day, adding, Bad behaviour will not be tolerated. Meghan and Harry are on the thinnest of ice, even if they don't seem to realise it. While the pair is yet to confirm whether they will attend, several commentators have speculated that Harry and Harry's wife will be certain to cross the pond. For instance, according to Royal News and Showbiz reporter Kinsey Schofield, Harry's wife will be desperate to make it to the ceremony because she wants her tiara moment. She told GB News, I think that they are both going to come because Harry's wife wants that tiara moment. It's been a long time since she got to wear something sparkly, and they need to remind the world that they are associated with the royal family, because, as you know, that is their businesses that has become their sole brand. However, there have also been some doubts as to whether they would make an appearance following the couple's furious rift with the royal family. In a statement released by a spokesperson for the Sussexes, they said that an immediate decision on their attendance at the ceremony would not be disclosed by us at this time. According to royal expert Christine Rose, Harry and Harry's wife will make it to the coronation, but will not have much of an important role to play on the day. She said, I suspect the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend the coronation, and it will be up to the royal planning committees to ensure the focus remains on King Charles III. The Platinum Jubilee was a good example on balancing the Duke and Duchess's presence versus their actual public face time. The Sussexes travelled to the United Kingdom with their two children last June for the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee, but did not appear on the balcony thermonuclear wounding during the event. A schedule for May the 6th indicates there could again be no place in the procession for Harry and Harry's wife, according to claims. The speculation continues as to what might happen. The suggestion is that if they're naughty at the coronation, they won't be invited to something else. Like that is going to cause Harry's wife to behave herself. Once again, they fail to realise that they're dealing with a narcissist. And you can tell a narcissist, behave yourself or else. But all the narcissist hears is, you're threatening my sense of control in the subconscious. And therefore, will not listen. That need to nullify that threat to control, to operate with a sense of entitlement, to act with, without accountability, means that you can tell the narcissist again and again and again, if you don't behave, there'll be repercussions. The narcissism just sits there going and raising two fingers to you. It simply doesn't care. Because future events 
are not bothered, are not something that the narcissism is focused on, is dealing with now. So, of course, a narcissist will say such things as, sure, yeah, yeah, I'll behave myself. Sure, yeah, the check's in the post. And, yeah, I won't come in your mouth. Doesn't matter if they then don't abide by what they've said they would do. Because at the point of saying what they said, that achieved the control over the relevant appliance and drew fuel from them and possibly gained some residual benefit and character trait also. It's in the bag. It's done. What follows next? That's tomorrow's business. And say for your higher echelon narcissists, the narcissism of a lesser or mid-range doesn't care. Furthermore, Harry's wife, her default setting, like any narcissist is, I'm the doer, I'm not the done to. You don't tell me what to do. And therefore, she will just brush off this suggestion that she has to behave herself or else. Who do they think they are? Don't they know that I'm the Duchess of all that I see before me, the Empress of Woke? They don't tell me what to do, do they, Harry? Uh, no, no, my little pretty Westphalian pumpernickel. Absolutely, they don't. Of course, what else has to keep in mind? What actual threat is it? What other royal occasions are there that they might not be invited to? It's not like they bother turning up at most of them as it is. It's only the biggies, the Platinum Jubilee, the funeral, that they have recently bothered to attend. They were only at the shushing of the colour because it was as a consequence of taking part of the um, Platinum Jubilee. So it's not like there's going to be a range of events on the horizon that they would ordinarily attend. She's not going to go out of her way to want to attend the Trooping of the Colour in the future. It's not like she's going to necessarily want to turn up at the King's birthday in the future. Instead, the coronation is a biggie because so many eyes around the world will be on it. And therefore, it's a magnificent opportunity for Harry's wife to soak up so much of that delicious fuel and to look at it for merchandising opportunities. But the simple fact is that a future ban has no meaningful impact upon her because her narcissism simply will not obey it. It has no regard to it. Something that is important for you to understand in your dealings with the narcissist as to why the issuing of a threat never gets you anywhere with the narcissist because quite simply the narcissist doesn't care driven by their own need to nullify your threat to control and the operation of their sense of entitlement and lack of accountability. The touting of a future ban to Harry's wife will have no impact upon her, and she'll only behave because her facade management suggests that she ought to behave. But behind the scenes, she'll cause trouble because she cannot help herself, because her narcissism drives her in that direction each and every time. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.